Now that the dock lifeguard's installed, we're going to actually calibrate it. We're going to inject electricity in the corner of the dock, and we can see that we've got two LEDs showing but not alarming. So what we're going to do is take off the front cover, and you can see the sensitivity settings. Oh, the side. See the sensitivity settings right here. And we're going to change it. Right now the factory default is X1. We are going to change from X1 to X2. Which will increase our sensitivity. And now we're going to go back and test again. Now that we've changed the sensitivities from X1 to X2, we're going to test again and we can see we're getting low so on four LEDs but not quite alarming yet so we're going to increase the sensitivity one more level to have both X1 and X2 jumped. So now we had X2 jump we're going to actually jumper X1 also so that will be our X3 jumper settings. Now that they're on we're going to put it back together and we're going to test again. Okay, with the X3 setting, we're going to inject voltage in the water. And we can see now six LEDs showing. And at this point, it's not triggering. We're going to adjust our trigger level so it will trigger the alarm at this level. Three. We'll take the case off and we're going to actually change to the trigger point. We can test the trigger point by popping the test. Don't, don't press and hold it, but pop it. If you do it real quick, you can pop it and see where it's triggering at. So it's triggering between the yellow and red LED. We're going to lower that so it triggers down around the third yellow LED. And you do this by turning it clockwise. Turning it clockwise will reduce the number of LEDs needed to alarm. Turning it counterclockwise will increase the number of LEDs alarm. So we've turned it clockwise. We're going to see what level it is by popping it. Just now it's triggering between the second and third LED, and we're going to run our test again. Now that we've adjusted our sensitivity and our trigger point, we're going to inject electricity in the far corner of the dock. And you can see the dock lifeguard alarming. This is how to adjust and calibrate the dock lifeguard for your environment.